Hey everybody, Jeffrey Powers with Geekazine, Think Magazine, Put in a Geek. You've got Geekazine, and I've got right here my Clash of Clans coming from my iPad. I kid you not. Take a look. There it is, and you're seeing it on my iPad. Let me try and line it up. You're seeing it on my iPad, and you're seeing it on my screen. And you're saying, can Wirecast do that? Not fully, and I'm going to talk about what we do, how how I do it to bring that in, of course. I'm going to do, uh, do that right now. So basically, you want to bring in your iPad. You want to bring in your iPhone um, or other. I, I don't know about Android devices. I do know about iPad devices because I do do a show called iPad 365 in where I do something like this. Normally, what I do is I record through my camera and I record through this program I'm going to talk about in a second. And then I bring it into a third-party uh, editor so I can make nice high-end 1080 video and go from there. There's two ways to bring in your iPad. One would be to get an external connection to work into something like an intensity extreme, and then that would go through your Thunderbolt or your USB ports, and then you'd have that as its own screen. Another way is to use the desktop presenter and a little program that I found, it's called Reflector. Reflector is a program that uh, it's, it's not free. It's twelve nine. I think it's twelve ninety five per computer. So I can bring. I, I basically bought it for my Mac and my PC. So twenty five bucks, and I can actually do an AirPlay from either of these devices. When you call up Reflector, all it does is it creates it as an AirPlay device. So I choose the AirPlay device, and I choose mirroring because if if i don't choose mirroring you'll just see my desktop until some we run into a program where it does pu does push the video to the uh to the desktop and then that would work from there and of course there are some apps that won't allow you to push airplay mo mode to their desktop so you'll probably get an error so not all apps work on there but the most most of the part of the apps do a pretty darn good job like for instance if i wanted to show off clash of clans I do that right there. All right. So in Reflector, I'm gonna sh uh, we're gonna take this out of full screen. Basically, this is what happens when you start Reflector. As you can see, it's just, you see the the uh, corners of the screen, and then I hit Alt F, and I can go full screen from there. Let's say I want to put on a I want to put on the iPad look. So all I have to do is uh, right click, secondary click on the PC. Um, it's up in the toolbar for the Mac. And I want to say, show the frame. And in this case, I'm showing a iPad mini frame in landscape mode. I can turn that to portrait simply by forcing portrait. And then of course I got to turn the screen so it will look through uh, as it's, it's a, a portrait uh, device and go from there. Um, and of course, if I don't want the frame, I just have to unclick the frame. I can choose the different skins like the iPad black, iPad white, white silver, space gray black, and iPad mini white. I don't normally show the frame because it gives me more real estate. And so I, sh I choose the automatic orientation. I put it back to landscape. It gives you an idea of how this looks. All right, so with that, I'm gonna show you how to create this scene right here. Now this is one scene inside of Wirecast. So I'm gonna to go to my local desktop here, as you can see, there's my infinity screen, and I'm gonna double click on here, make sure that I didn't switch over. Nope, I didn't. Now, we've got the editing uh, copy of intensity. And basically what I have is I have a three pane source. The first one is my, my camera source, which is my Sony through my intensity and extreme. The second one is the remote desktop, which is the PC over here using reflector um, from the iPad. And then the built-in audio, which uh, goes to my mixer uh, so I can use my microphone. You can, set up, uh, you can set up the templates. Virtual sets if you have Pro. I don't have Pro, but you know if you want to do a city set and a moonlight set and stuff like that, you can. But you can go back to templates, and uh, if, if, you, if you just want to set it up really quick, you can just go, poof, I want this lower uh, picture in picture, and go from there. It creates the B placeholder, which you would choose the remote desktop. I've already done that, and I've already put it up in the top corner. And so, whoops, I used the wrong one. Let me bring that back. There we go. A little bit fighting back and forth. There we go. So I click on the remote desktop. Now I can move that around. I can hold down the command key on the Mac. Um, I believe it's the control key on the PC and resize it so I can make it small. I can make it big and uh, bring it to a good size. 
And then I can hold down the Alt key and that'll adjust it so it looks like it's looking down at me, which is pretty cool. Um, but of course I, I leave it uh, straight up like that so you can see what's going on. So now I can go into my Clash of Clans program and I can talk about Clash of Clans. Of course, I got to move the mouse out of the, the frame there. Uh, so you're not seeing that. And same thing here. Um, so now I can talk about this app called Clash of Clans, which I, I it's one of the games that I play on my iPad and go from there. That's it's as simple as that. Uh, and in order to do that, you need a program, and that program is called Reflector. I'll have that in the YouTube page. You'll go down there, and you'll click on the link, and, and that'll take you to the Reflector page, and, and you can make a purchase from there. So that's basically that tutorial. Now, you can do a lot of other things. Um, like I said, you can, you can bring in other screens uh, using that desktop presenter into here, put it on as a screen, or you can turn around and... Uh, you can bring it as its own screen and then bring in your face here down here and we can talk. You can set up many different uh, setups through the local desktop here. So you've got uh, you've got different options. Like, for instance, I have this uh, this image right here turned on and off through this master layer. Um, and we'll go back and forth so you can see it a couple times. Uh, or you can set up the scene all by itself so it has all of the elements to it uh the desktop presenter the main screen and of course the audio and go from there all right well that's it for this uh this tutorial of course check out the first tutorial on wirecast 5 we're going to work on many different and many more tutorials show you some cool things that you can do including lower thirds including doing remote uh remote uh, c capture of maybe uh, maybe a speech or something like that. Uh, it's perfect for a lot of different things. Check everything out over at geekazine.com, howtorecordpodcast.com, and uh, check out the first video and the, all the videos afterwards. Uh, let me know and, and I'll uh, you know, by emailing me and I'll let you know when the next video comes out and we'll go from there. Thanks a lot for watching. My name is Jeffrey Powers and you guys geek out and take care.